and you focus on the breath. You may be focusing on the breath, but it's the mind that you're trying to catch. You're catching the mind with the breath, because the mind is what you want to watch. We all know that we want happiness, but this mind has a way of doing things that it thinks is going to give rise to happiness, and then they don't. And so you've got to keep watch on it. And John Mahabhava says it's like watching a suspect. Try to catch the suspect in action, okay, then you know that it's actually been doing the crime. And we don't like to look at our minds as suspect. But you do have to be, have a little bit of skepticism about what the mind is doing, otherwise you just believe everything it tells you. As I say, don't believe everything you think. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to believe somebody else outside. It means you have to be very skeptical about your intentions. But to make up for the sense of dis-ease that might cause, we practice concentration to give the mind a sense of well-being. So that once you've got that sense of well-being, then you want to look at anything that's going to destroy that sense of well-being, and you naturally would be skeptical of it. So allow the mind to be with the breath in a way that feels refreshing all the way through the body. Sometimes they say you're going to get stuck on the pleasure of concentration. Well, it's a good pl pleasure to be stuck on. Think of the pleasures of the world that most people are stuck on. I mean, they actually cause a lot of harm. At least this pleasure is blameless. Sitting here breathing with your eyes closed, you're not harming anybody at all. And you find you can get a really intense sense of well-being. So explore what the breath can do. What kind of breathing feels good for the body right now? What would feel really good? And then stick with that. You don't have to drop it when you leave the meditation. That way you can go through, through the whole day with a basic sense of well-being. That means you're going to be a lot more reliable, and the people around you are going to find you a lot more reliable, too. So this is a kind of happiness that really is blameless. It doesn't cause any harm to anybody at all, and actually makes life easier for the people around you because you're not fighting with them for over all the little things that the world has to offer. You've got something much better inside.